Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the FetchUp Diopter lenses from Optic Fisher. Since I'm far sighted, I've been using the standard FetchUp Diopter lenses for the last two years or so and I thought to myself that it's time for an upgrade because I heard many good things about the Optic Fisher Diopter lenses. These diopters are custom made. You can see the engravement of the letter L on the left one and you can see the engravement of the letter R on the right one and they need to be inserted in the following manner when the R is facing the front and the left is facing the front as well. So you can see that they emphasize it on the following picture. Now I'm probably stating the obvious, but the most important thing for you to do when getting this type of diopter lenses is to get the correct prescription values. And if you have ones from the last couple of months, probably it's going to be okay. But if you don't, I highly recommend to get new ones. In terms of compatibility, Optic Fisher makes two kinds of diopters, one for fetcher goggles and one for skies and goggles, which I don't have. They fit very well inside the HDO and also inside the HD3. They are pretty snug and they feel a little bit bigger than the standard ones, which in my opinion is great because they are not going to move easily. In addition, I can tell you that the FetchUp diopters are fully compatible with the Ishin EV200D and they fit very well. And I also tested them with the Omway V1, but unfortunately they are too big and won't fit. I'm not sure if the Skyzen version is compatible or not, but anyway, if you have these goggles and you need diopters, I recommend to reach out to Optic Fisher and see if they have a solution. In terms of pricing, the Optic Fisher diopter lenses cost 53 euros including shipping and if you'd like to add anti-reflex and hard coating it's going to cost you 30 euros extra so of course these lenses are much more expensive than the standard fetch-up ones however in terms of quality the difference is huge and even though my prescription is around minus two so it's pretty close to the standard minus two fetch-up lenses I can tell you that I've been using these lenses for the past three weeks and I'm extremely happy with them and I'm sure that if something is going to go wrong and I'm going to lose them, I hope it's not going to happen, I'm going to get a new set of these diopters. I don't want it to sound like a commercial because it's not and I know that this review is a little bit different because I just can't show you the difference between the FetchUp standard ones and the Optic Fisher diopter lenses. And I did try to film the screens of my HDOs when they were connected through an HDMI connector and show the difference but unfortunately you'll have to try it on your own in order to see and you will have to trust my word that of course they are more expensive but the quality is great and if you already invested close to $500 in a new pair of HDO I think that if you'd like to get the most out of your goggles and you're far on your sided I think that you should definitely consider getting the Optic Fisher the Optic lenses even though they are not cheap. Finally, I can tell you that Optic Fisher got a very good customer care, so Jürgen is going to take care of you if something goes wrong, which is a good thing to know if you're going to invest this amount of money. I hope this video was informative enough, and of course, if you have any questions about the Optic Fisher Diopti lenses, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.